Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's growth call for BISC for the week of July 11th. My name is Steve. We have these growth calls every week at this time to discuss how the BISC network has been doing and to discuss current priorities for the project. Uh, I think in the Zoom room right now, we have Huey. So hi, Huey. And hello to everybody uh, who's watching on YouTube after this. Uh, an agenda for this call is on GitHub in the growth repository for BISC Network. It's issue number 149. Basically, we're going to talk about uh, two things in particular. Uh, we'll go over a market update to talk about volume so far this month in July. And then we'll talk about the, the voting phase for the DAO. Uh, cycle number three is happening right now. And so I think it's a good time to, to talk about voting if you haven't done it before or are curious about the uh, about how it works one more thing i guess to mention is uh something interesting from earlier today uh there was bisque was mentioned in a bloomberg article it was on uh bisque or it says bitcoin's reawakening hold on let me get this, this link Crypto peer-to-peer -peer exchanges grow in popularity as regulatory scrutiny rises. And so they mentioned a couple of peer-to-peer uh, -peer exchanges, HODL, HODL, uh, the Roger Ver one, and then um, BISC. And it seems like the writer was fairly, uh, well, I, I think they, they mentioned somewhere that BISC was software as opposed to a website. So that was nice. Uh, and they had a little graph of BISC volume over the past couple of months, or actually a little bit over a year now. So I'll put a link in, uh, in the, the YouTube description when I post a video on YouTube. For the market update, uh, volume continues to be pretty strong uh, in July. So June was a blockbuster month. It had all-time high US dollar volume by a lot, um, as well as all-time high Bitcoin volume let me see the numbers. Yeah, yeah. So U.S. dollar volume was 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 like uh, times, many times, probably four times higher, about four times higher than the last high. Um, Bitcoin volume was about uh, close to double, not quite, but almost double the last record, which was uh, set in December. So very high volume, very good volume in June, mostly due to Monero. Um, and we're, we seem to be continuing a similar trajectory for July. So we're not gonna quite hit those numbers at this pace. We have just over 712 Bitcoin traded on BISC this month so far, in, you know, just about 11 days. Um, so still strong, still strong uh, daily average Bitcoin volume, but we're probably not gonna uh, quite match last month. Um, I guess obligatory, just mentioned that the fiat volumes are constrained for now until we have protection mechanisms in place. Uh, I wasn't able to speak to uh, Christoph or any of the other developers. Uh, I'll, I'll try to make it a point to do it uh, in the next few days before the next call to figure out where we are on that. Um, I, I have, my understanding is that we're fairly close to getting these things done, at least the first iteration. Um, same thing with the API, so I'm not sure exactly what the holdup is or where we are uh, on those, but uh, I hope to have more information next week. Uh, next item, voting for the DAO, uh, the current cycle, cycle three. Um, proposal, so, there are a couple of phases in the DAO voting cycle. So the DAO proposal phase uh, was about three, three weeks long, uh, just ended a couple of days ago. The proposals that were submitted during that phase are now locked in and available for, for voting right now until I think the next, the next two days or so, the blind voting phase will be open. Um, and just as a quick background for those of you who are, are new to, uh, to the BISC DAO, voting is something anybody can do. You just need BSQ. So there's a fee to cast a vote. And ideally, you'd have some, uh, well, you have to have some 
amount of BSQ to stake as your voting weight for your vote. Um, so it could be anything from, I don't think there's a minimum, uh, there might be a, like a uh, I don't know if the dust limit applies for, for voting weight, but you know, ideally it's uh, five, I, I, I should probably look at the numbers on this, but um, if, if there is a dust limit that applies, then it's probably five, otherwise I don't think it matters. Um, but ideally you have more than that, so your vote can mean a little bit more. Um, the way stake is actually calculated is a little bit, uh, there's a little bit more to it. So we have, we've detailed the, um, the parameters for, for voting stake in the uh, user reference in the docs, the documentation for BISC. But basically there's two components to it. Um, if you've earned a BSQ as a contributor, the BSQ that you've earned, uh, whether you have it still or not, uh, counts toward your your voting weight. Um, now that weight is, uh, in a sense, uh, it diminishes over time. Um, essentially, it diminishes linearly over two years. So, um, BSQ that you've earned a year ago uh, is worth half as much as BSQ that you just earned, and. Um, so the incentive there is to, to incentivize people who've contributed to BISC to continue tr contributing to maintain their power. Um, so that's one component of the weight. The other component is uh, BSQ that you actually own. Um, and that, that's BSQ that um, when you cast your vote, the program, the software will ask you to specify to allot a certain amount of BSQ that you own to that vote for weight and um yeah so if you've contributed and you have bsq uh that you own you can do both your earned bsq weight will apply no matter what and you can add the bsq that you own to the vote uh, for additional weight if you only have bsq that you've that you've purchased then um you can allot that bsq however much you want to the the vote the voting transaction um, and the BSQ will be reserved until the, I believe the vote reveal phase is when it's uh, freed again um, and made spendable again. Um, but that's how voting works at a high level. Um, most of the trend, most of the, um, most of the proposals right now, I believe are compensation requests. Uh, yeah, most of the proposals I believe are trans, uh, are uh, compensation requests. Uh, there are a couple, there are four, I believe, uh, proposals for for fees for, uh, for I think they're DAO are they DAO yeah I think they're DAO parameters. Um, the rationale for those proposals is in issue number ninety nine in the proposals repository, um, and I think that the underlying idea is that fees are very low right now, specifically for BSQ BSQ trading fees, and um, of course, it's not sustainable long term. Uh, trading volumes are high right now, and uh, you know fees should be higher to uh, to bring the network, move the network into a more sustainable direction um, to attract developers and um, just generally uh, make the balance of BSQ being issued and BSQ being burned uh, more in balance, more in um, you know a more sustainable state. Because right now, there's a lot of BSQ being issued to contributors. Um, and and not so much being burned for trading fees. And that ratio, ideally long-term, that ratio is balanced uh, much more so than it is now. And there's a lot of discussion on other topics uh, in that proposal, so I encourage you to check it out. Um, it obviously is a very important topic for the longevity, for the you know sustainability of the network long-term. Um, so, you know, if you are interested in that, then it's a good proposal to check out and um, and vote on. You know, uh, proposal like I said, voting is open until I think uh, two days from now, so uh, you don't have to vote on every single proposal uh, that's there to vote on. You can vote on all, on only the ones you like. Um, 
but yeah, that's uh, the idea of the BISC DAO is uh, if you're using it or if you care about it, then you can make your voice heard and, and, and help govern it. So um, I think fees are a very core part of that. And, uh, you know, if, if you have an opinion, um, ideally you can add it to the proposal uh, and vote on it. Um, but it'd be great to have your input either way. Um, I think that's all I have for now. Uh, like I said, I wish I had a little bit more of an update on the protection mechanisms. Uh, I will figure that out for next week. Uh, market continues to be strong into July. Voting is taking place right now for cycle three of the BISC DAO. Uh, you can find more information on the voting, how that works in the user reference in the BISC documentation. And the notable proposal for the cycle, aside from compensation requests, is issue number 99 on increasing fees. That's all I have for you guys. Uh, if there's uh, any other questions or comments, I'll wait a few seconds. Check the chat, check Slack. All right. Well, um, thank you everybody for joining and we'll see you back here again next week.